Okay peeps, so I mentioned before that I have some other plants, believe it or not. And in case you're wondering what you're looking at now, what you're seeing is an azalea. Um, yeah, I've had this one for about, I think, four years now. And um, it was a spontaneous purchase. <laughs> My uh, husband bought it for me. It was uh, sweet. Um, sometimes the Boy Scouts come on the door and they want to sell you an azalea for three euros. So he bought me an azalea for three euros. And yeah, the, uh, the flowers bloomed. They died out. I wasn't sure what to do with it exactly. So I put it in this stone pot here in my garden. And as you can see, it's quite spread out but I've recently given it a trim and I thought it would die but um, no no he's uh, he's living but he's by a wall he's enclosed so he's not really um, he's not really uh, bearing any strong winds or, or anything like that so he's lived out here in this pot for, for four years I've pretty much forgotten about him and neglected him um, the other day I decided to tidy up the pot, you know, refresh the, the soil a little bit, give it some fertilizer, and I trimmed it back hard. So you can see here where I've actually uh, trimmed it down. I don't know if I can find a good shot for you. So, yeah, there's from the central bark. You can see it's got some interesting shapes here. Believe it or not, this is all one plant. I just kind of spread it out, hoping it would make a bush, but um, it just got really leggy. I didn't really prune it. I didn't really do anything with it. I just gave it water when it looked dry. Um, so I did a hard cut and I managed to separate some clones, yay. And I also managed to break away some parts with some roots on them. So if we go over here. So these are part of the, the plant that when I was uh, tidying up the roots uh, it came away with a, a root bundle of its own. So I planted them in their own pots and hopefully I can make some pretty azalea trees from those. So yeah, they're nice and wet. They've been in the pot for about two days now so as uh, these progress I'll update you. Um, this one here is also, it broke away a little bit, it also had its own root system attached to it, so I planted it up. Uh, see where this happens, it's, you can see it's got a little bit of a woody stalk already, I've trimmed it back. So it's got more energy to put into grow than to maintain all those leaves. I've pretty much done the same here, you can see some cutbacks. I've left some leaves on there so um, these can thicken up and it can grow and uh, yeah we'll see what happens with these. I, I heard azaleas uh, or azaleas sorry are uh, quite uh, fussy to look after but yeah we'll, we'll see what happens and then this one is just um, a curtain of a bushy part that I, I took from one of the, the trees, uh, this one here, and I liked how it looked so I, I dipped the end in some root and hormone and yeah, again it's been two days and it still looks quite perky and healthy so maybe I get a little azalea bush from that as well. So yeah, those are my uh, azalea cuttings. So um, as they grow and progress, I will update you and of course my mother plant over here. Um, we'll see what happens to that after some love and it grows back a little bit after I've pruned it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next video.